Okay, I'm ready to start turn six of the Dungeons and Dragons game, The Legend of Drizzt. This is adventure number two. So Drizzt is ready to go. It's his turn. And so we have a few things going on now, though. We have the Goblin Archer. We have the Villain. We have a Spider Swarm. And we, have a, and we have a Goblin Cutter. We don't need to explore anymore, although we'll have a forced encounter pretty much every turn now, but I think we just want to start picking off monsters. So, but we also need to move towards the Ancient Throne. So let's see, so Drist has a movement of 9, because he has 7 plus 2. Um... But he also has this thing, Flask of Oil, so I could use that instead of attacking, which would allow me to basically have a ranged attack against that Goblin Archer, but I only have a plus four. I also have that. We'll save that. We'll, save, we'll use that for Artemis. So I think what Driz may want to do is move... To get and then the, and the goblin can uh, this uh, goblin can chase us, so he can move nine. So that's let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can easily get to the archer, or rather the cutter. This is the goblin cutter up here. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll have Driz move over there so he's adjacent to the cutter because we need to start taking out monsters. So hopefully I'm doing this intelligently. So Driz is going to move over there. And actually, before I completely commit to that movement, let me check one thing. I'm going to replace my stance token on here because we'll say we say we'll say we did this first. And then that just allows me to move after doing an attack. So we did that, then we moved. Okay, so now Driz is going to attack the Goblin Cutter using his Icing Death. And if he hits him in the first turn, then he's gone. If not, we'll use our Expert Combatant to have another go. And that's a 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. And the Goblin Cutter is a 12. So he takes down the Goblin Cutter. Goblin Cutter goes down, put that onto our experience pile, take the Goblin Cutter off the board. And now let's update for Drizzt. So we haven't used that. We did move, we attacked, we killed, we got treasure. So let's see what kind of treasure we get. Um, let me set it here. Your hero is now second level. Nice. If your hero is already... Okay, cool. Alright, we're second level. So we'll get rid of that. That comes in handy because Drizzt is a bit low on points. So we flip the card over, and when we level up, uh, we increase our HP by 2. So let's just do that first. So that takes us up to 6. And now we also get another power... There's only one more power that Driz does not have, which is this one. So we'll just add that in here. If he has more powers beyond that, then they're in the advanced deck that I still haven't unwrapped. Uh, we get another we get another surge, so we now have three surges. Although we haven't used any yet. And we select our power, okay. Okay, alright. So that all happened. Now Drizzt is not exploring. So no tile, no new monster. And we have an encounter. And then we have art. And the goblin archer is under... So we killed the cutter, so it's gone. But the goblin archer is under Drizzt's control, so it will still activate. Alright, let's see what kind of encounter we get cannot cancel it. Actually, I forgot to put the Spider Swarm on for Drizzt as well, so that goes here. So 
So, mm, no, not monster encounter. All right, so attack each hero on my tile. It's just Drizzt with the plus seven. If it hits, he's poisoned. So let's hope this is a good low roll. Drizzt only has a 17 AC. Shoot. So yep, yeah, that's enough. So Drizzt is poisoned. So that's gone. Grab the poison marker, put it on Drizzt. All right, so that's that. Now Artemis activates, and I think he's just gonna move. Jason, no, Tile, no, moves. Okay, so he's gonna move. Mushroom to mushroom. Now the Goblin Archer activates, and I think it's just gonna move. Because um, it's not a Jason, it's not within two. Because the two would be one, two, or, you know, one, two, but that's not there. So he's three away, so he's gonna move. He's gonna move one type, one closer. So just from here to here. So that's the Goblin Archer. Now the Spider Swarm activates. And if the Spider Swarm is on a tile, it's not. If the Spider Swarm is within one tile, it's not. Otherwise it moves one closer. So it's going to go Mushroom to Mushroom. All right, and that's it for Drizzt, turn six. Now, Bruner is going to go. So what I think I'd like to do for Bruner is to have him get rid of the spider swarm. So let's see here. Why do we have this on here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it just increases our AC. All right, yeah, we'll save these for Artemis. All right, so Bruner's gonna move and try to take out the spiders. So he has a movement speed of five, which you can see here, speed. All right, Bruner's gonna go one, two, three, four. So he's got, he can get up there with a little bit to spare. So Bruner moves up here, faces his opponent, and he's going to attack with just the regular plus seven attack because the rats only have one hit point and we want to save the damage for Artemis. Alright, so Bruner attacks with a plus seven. And he gets a six. Six and seven is thirteen, which is just enough to hit. Well, just enough with a little bit to spare. So the spider swarm goes down. Just slide it over here. So the spider swarm's gone. So let me mark it off. Take it off the table. And we get treasure. And the treasure we get is, looks like we gain a hit point. Your hero regains one hit point and we get to flip up a power. Nice. All right, so Bruner goes up to six. And we don't need this one anymore, right? That's the one that yeah, we don't care about that one anymore, so we just want this one. Okay, so this treasure was used and it's gone, so we discard it. Now, <clears throat> so we didn't do that. We moved, we attacked, we got our treasure. We're not going to explore, so there's no new monster, no new tile, no new monster. But we do have an encounter, then we have Artemis, and he doesn't have any monsters under his turn. So let's see what kind of encounter we get. Dire Cobby Flock, attack each hero on the tile. Luckily it's just Bruner, and it's gonna do damage either way. Um, not a lot we can do about it. So plus nine. It's probably going to hit, because that's a big bonus. Yep, that definitely hits. So he's going to take the full two damage. Get it later. So Bruner goes down to four. So 
that was the encounter. And now Artemis will activate, and again, he's just going to move up because he's not adjacent and he's not within a tile. So he's just going to move. Mushroom to mushroom. Alright, and that will be the end of turn number six.